Hi, in this video, I will teach you how to add a font awesome icon in your Java Swing application. So let's create project. Then let's name here uh, font. Okay. Awesome. Um, swing. Then let's put here um, font awesome swing. That is the package. So here. I need to add um, class library here. So let's name it J icon because we need to add this icon to, uh, we need to use this um, class to add icon in J button and J label. So let's start here. So let's add um, extend J component. Extend. Then let's declare the variable here, which is private um, icon. Then let's put here a J icon. Then let's import. Then here let's add um, font awesome. Font, font awesome. Then this is the instance variable. Then um, font awesome because this is um, enumeration. So let's import this. Let's find this one in the Maven repository. So need you need to import this one. This com GitHub then J icon font. This one add. Then here it's automatically added. The next is we need to um, add this one. For example, this is the default. For example, let's put this one Android. The next is we need to add um, color, default color for our icon. So let's um, add color equals new color so let's import this in abstract window toolkit then for example this one so let's uh, put here one one means block then let's select the color this one the next is let's add um width and height so W. Then let's put here um, height. We don't need to specific the width to the complete word because in the G component it has um, variable width and height for the G component. So let's add constructor here public. Then J icon for our default icon. So here let's um, call the icon, maybe this one, icon then um, font, swing, let's find this one in the Maven repositories. Let's wait for a while. Okay, so we have here this one. Add. Then let's call the build font. Okay, so this one. Icon font. This one. Then let's type here. Um, Let's type font um, awesome, then get okay. No, oh, this one then get icon font. Then let's try. 
what is the error of this one? Oh, this one is this is um build. This is register. Then next is let's type um set icon for this one. So let's um create encapsulation of the instance variables. This one. Then next is we don't need to include this one because there's a method here in the, the J, J component. So let's um, call the method set icon. We need to set J icon, this one. Then let's call the uh, icon icon font swing. Then um, build icon, then font, um, font, this is default, so we need to call the class, the, um, the enumeration class, then next is this one, we need to get, um, this is three, because we need to add font, icon, and color. So here, build icon, build icon this one. Here we need to add mm, font, Awesome, then add this one Android icon, then alignment, then let's get the height for the component, then the color, so let's get the color. Um, what is the error? So we have no close parenthesis. Then here we need to add graphics for our icon. So let's um, call the um, add, uh, method protected. Then void. Then paint. Component, component, then graphics here, this one, then J, G, then let's um, call the super class of the graphics, paint, um, component, this one. The next is we need to add condition if um, j uh, get j icon if not equal null then here we need to add graphics graphics um, to 2d then g to d call let's parse the graphics from the parameter then j create the next is Graphics 2D, that is the, okay, parsing, so let's parse this one to 2D from here, which is our parameter. The next is, let's add here um, the width equals um, get width, then height, get 
Then let's add here um, G2D. Then let's set rendering hint. No, maybe this is not rendering hint. Okay, then let's type here uh, rendering hint. Um, rendering hints. Then let's call the um, key aliasing. This one. Then here uh, rendering hints. Then let's call the key um, aliasing. K, K or it's not. Um, no, there's on. Oh, okay, this one on value aliasing on. The next is let's add value for the icon here. Set um J icon. Then let's put um icon from icon font swing then let's um, build um, this one build icon font awesome so let's get the font awesome that we set font awesome then here get alignment for the um, height or we get height then the color get color get color the next is um, let's add if we resize the uh, icon it will automatically automatically adjust so let's add image here for the Okay, so scale buffer. I oh, know scale image then equals um um let's add here a uh, condition for the method. Um let's um put here private then buffered image buffered image then let's put um i method here which is icon um to image then here let's put here icon then icon then buffered image then let's put here image equal a uh, new buffered image so let's um add this one um three so let's add here icon get with uh, get this one icon with then icon then get height then here we need to add um um buffered image type this buffered image then is the type of this one is this one maybe this one or this one let's try the next um statement so let's change this to graphics 2d the 2d equals image um create graphics then let's 
um, put here a G to B to make uh, our graph icon smooth and clear. Uh, it will add graphics not by and uh, it draw by graphics not by pixel. So let's uh, set here um, rendering rendering um, hint hint. So here let's add here. Let's copy this one. The next is um, let's put here icon for the parameter. Then let's paint icon here, which is okay. G to D. So here let's put here default for zero. Then here. Um, let's add um, G2D, then dispose, then it return to turn to image. Okay, so let's call this one, this method to this uh, statement. So here we need to add icon. To image get icon then let's add here um, method get get um, scaled instance this one so let's Add get um, height, then this one let's put here get height. So our drawing is based on the height of the component. So if we change this one to um, width, so it will draw based on the height and width. So here we need to create square so either you can put width or height um, this one is height and height so you can put also width and width based on the um, width by drawing your icon so next is let's get the color Get scaled. Oh, what is the error here? Image. Then There's a method here, neighbor. Variable scaled image is neighbor read. Because this is a buffer image. So get icon. Get kills scaled instance. Then get the color. Um. Mm -hmm. So this is color, but it requires end. So this 
um, this is not um, color so we need to add um, image maybe this one then get it will return to end so this one so this one we need to scale the smooth the next is let's add here image no um let's draw we need to draw we didn't um draw image um this one Okay, this one. The scale. The scale image then. The first is zero. Let's put here zero, then zero, then this class then let's try if it is working then let's clean and build to create class of this put put okay it's done so need to minimize this one the next is let's add g frame G frame um, icon. So let's delete the main class, then design, then click this G icon so it will um, draw Android icon because we sit here in the okay, this one Android. But if we change that one, we need to uh, find the, this one font awesome. We need to change this to um, user. User. So it will change to user. So let's try to run the project, the final output. So let's um, icon. Frame icon, then icon, then set mm, visible true. So let's try to run the project. So there's an icon. So next is we need to add this icon to your j label and j um button so let's add um constructor here um let's copy this one but we need to add parameter here which is um font awesome font then um, in height, then in width. Um, this is only one for the size of the icon. Height, based on height of the icon. So let's add color here. Color, then color. Then let's um, change the icon here um, parameter then get um, let's change this to height then let's change this to color okay so let's um, clean and build Compile first before you drag this class to your swing. 
or your J J frame. So let's delete this one. Let's click. Okay. So there's no problem with this. The next is let's add J button. So we need to add, for example, um, save. So we need to add this, uh, floppy disk icon of this one. So we need to proceed to source. So let's put here a J button, then set icon, then let's add here um, new. Um, let's call the J icon this one. So color the width is for example with this this is 30 then the color is yellow okay what is the okay so we need to add conversion before we um add so here we need to create get j icon okay so let's try um the height of this one and the width is 30 for the icon of this one so let's try clean and build because we have modification of this class clean and build to compile this class After we compile, okay, so we can we can save. Then let's run the project. The icon is color yellow. So let's try. So yellow. So let's try to change the color. Uh, for example, green, uh, blue. Okay, then the size, let's change this to 20. The next is let's um, change this one to floppy, if there's a floppy here, plug floppy, this one. Then let's try to run the project. Run. So we have here icon, floppy disk, save. So let's adjust the um, the margin. Let's put here zero. Then let's try, save, then let's run again. So we have here um, floppy disk. Then let's add icon. We need to add icon for the label. So let's pick this one, then let's generate resize code. Okay, so this one. So for example, let's add um let's see if the margin is margin margin okay there's no problem with the margin so let's add icon so let's copy this method then paste then let's find which is this one is j label one the variable of this one j level one then let's change this to user user then let's change the color um, green then let's try to, to run to see the output so we have here the save how to add icon in your um, swing by using gfont awesome so we need we don't need to add um lot of icons 
it's easy to use thank you for watching see you in next video bye